do some Python on hardware news. Okay, speaking of. Okay, okay. big news. Um, 70 single board computers now support CircuitPython. That's right. Um, if you want to uh, check Nine out pies, Tom's pies. hardware, Scott, lead, did, lead developer yeah. on CircuitPython, he was on Tom's hardware. And then they did a separate story about Scott being on there, and they're like, hey, CircuitPython might just run on a Raspberry Pi. So yeah, he did, he did leak his idea, which is he wants CircuitPython to yeah. run raw on the because we have, Broadcom chip. Yeah, we have Blinka, which is basically like libraries. Linux, well, yeah. And it's like, you know, CircuitPython for Linux. And then being able to, like, treat a Raspberry Pi as a microcontroller is an interesting idea. Well, the, I mean, the Pi 400 would be an amazing, like, you know, little tote. A circuit Python board. Uh, I, you know, I get it. I see why uh, this is a it's a fun idea. Um, but check it out. I mean, I think it's a, it was a really good roundtable. I listened in. Um, they talked about circuit Python, about Blinka, RP twenty forty, yeah. about like what's what's coming next, right? A lot of people are. You know, I think there is a lot of excitement for this year. I think, like you said, people are like they they want to have stuff happen. They're like they're ready to to do stuff again. Um, I think like the whole world has that feeling right now, and so this was a, it was a really cool, positive uh, video chat. Yeah. So seventy single board computers now support CircuitPython. That was our big news. Blink can bring CircuitPython APIs, CircuitPython libraries to single board computers. Uh, another milestone: two thousand people in our CircuitPython subreddit. Thanks yep. to everybody who's there. Um, we try to cover like greater. Python news? Yeah, I mean, like, like you know, Blinka, it runs on C Python. So yeah. we're, I'm always interested in what's going on with Python in general. Um, and it's interesting. It's like, what, what does the, you know, I have my own opinions about Python, but I want to hear about what other people think. So, so yeah, uh, some survey results came in from 2020 85% main language for a secondary language. Um, why do they like it? Simple syntax, easy to learn, syntactic sugar. Um, Python experience, 20% of folks have been using it for three to five years. So anyways, check it out. That's from the Python Foundation mm -hmm. and JetBrains. Raspberry Pi turned, turned nine. nine. Yeah, yeah, and actually Engadget just turned 17. Wow. I was second authored Engadget oh my seven, God. 17 years ago. It can drive. <laughs> yeah. Is Engadget still around? Engadget, yeah. Okay. Engadget is around. Um, I was doing... Um, Writing at Popular Science, I think. Oh, they're still writing. I think I was, yeah, I think I was senior editor at Popular Science. And Pete Rojas was visiting Microsoft. I was there in an event. And it wasn't even, the site wasn't even really released yet. And he was going through some names. And he was asking me what I thought about Engadget. And I'm like, oh, that's a good name. Um, he had left Gizmodo, or was leaving Gizmodo back during the blog wars. Yeah. Um, I was, lost my grandmother to the blog wars. <laughs> it was Nick Denton versus Jason Calcanis. So, wow, you, you can, the, every, no matter who dies, you win, right? <laughs> so, um, so anyways, uh, that was 17 years ago yeah. uh, for Engadget. And then Hackaday, I started when I was doing stuff with Engadget. That's like 30, it's 14 years now? How old is that? That is 15? a 16-year-old because it was pretty fast. Oh, man, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, it's still around. It's just going strong. Yeah, and then um, other, you know, other anniversaries, Raspberry Pi nine years ago, totally transformed way we were doing a company in electronics and more um, yeah we've been, I, we we got into it we i i jumped on it real fast I'm like this is cool there was a lot of scarcity for the raspberry pi when it came out so we decided to do something completely different instead of trying to hoard them and try to sell them and disappoint people we just had it so if you order 300 dollars or more on our site you get a raspberry pi so that was that was that was unique and weird and interesting and uh, a lot of people did it yeah. So it was good. Worked out. So happy birthday, Raspberry Pi. Um, we were thinking about talking about like the Chumbi at the time, and that was we, we the did first. The yeah, yeah, that and, was like the first. The Beaglebone. That was the first like Linuxy thing that we were like, okay, this is this is where it's going, and then Raspberry Pi kind of. You, you can still that. see my learn guide on the Chumbi. I was like, okay, here's how to connect an accelerometer to the I squared C port. I mean, it was pre Blinka, but it was like the idea was still there. It was like, how can we, um, you know. How can we use Linux sort of like an Arduino, like a microcontroller, right? And um, I think it was, it's a, it's a powerful idea. You know, it's actually interesting. So here, like, I'm going to give people a story. So there was, you know, an open hardware slash Arduino summit. And it was, like, around nine years ago. Because remember, like, the Raspberry Pi had just come out. And I remember that folks were sitting around and were like, what's the future of Arduino? And I remember, it wasn't me. 
but somebody said Raspberry Pi, like the idea of a, a Linux computer um, being able to do all the things that an Arduino can do is, is the future. And I think we actually turned out to be, it is the future, but it also, it's shared, right? I mean, Arduino is now, it's from like 15 years ago. Um, but I think it's, it's great for people. Some folks use Arduino, some people use Raspberry Pi. It's good to have you know, multiple options. Um, and especially now with a circuit Python, I'm trying to combine the two. But you can see my uh, Linux Australia uh, Linux Australia conference talk 2021, and I, I go through all this in about 45 minutes. Okay. Um, other stuff. Don't forget tomorrow Scott is doing his deep dive circuit Python. All about Tamil. News around the web. Uh, JP stream is tomorrow, but you can see some of the things that he's been working on, especially specifically circuit Python stuff. Ooh, Cascade! Um, this video just got posted. Check them out. Yeah, Deborah had some of um, her works and more um, using circuit Python and PyCascade's presentation. Sony is doing a webinar on April eighth. They bumped it a month. Had a program a microcontroller using circuit Python, and you can check out all the things that Sony's up to. It's kind of cool. Sony's adopted circuit Python for their Sony's presence board. Um, you can. Uh, lots of stuff going on in the world of MicroPython and CircuitPython with Pico. Pico. Projects. So this is a galloping horse animation on the Pico using CircuitPython. This is a QDPi USB media knob and uh, rotary encoder that's using CircuitPython. Um, if you guys stream in, he's doing streams, check yeah, it out. Yeah, that was a cool um, library pull request and development of the uh, LoRa radio project stuff that's going on. And uh, this project was cool. So this is a BTC thing. So I found this. So there's a person on Etsy selling Matrix Portal, like a ADA box is basically kitted up with like you know Bitcoin or whatever, like you know Wall Street bets a meme stock on it. I just thought that was cool. That's like neat. There and they even say like you can configure this really easily. You just it plugs in and you change a disk like a, a file on the disk to change what yeah. uh, whether you want Ethereum or you want. Dogecoin or you want, you know, what, what stock ticker number you want. And I thought it was neat to see like Etsy, right? This crafting making site selling completed circuit Python projects. I don't know. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was cool. It's like, it's, this it's is, that easy to use. So there's lots of bad things about this pandemic. <laughs> there is. Really? <laughs> and there's lots of bad things about okay. it. And one of the bad things about it is some of the things that you used to do, you don't get to do anymore. So, if I were to write an article about Circuit Python or Python on hardware, just like I used to back in the day of yeah, yeah. other things, and you know, right now there's Adafruit Razor Focus. No, we, we can't do anything. So else, you yeah. can't, you can't, you can't write some of the articles about this thing that's been happening in the world of electronics. You can, I think, right now your choice is either do it or or write about it. You can't like do both, at least for not for me. So one of the things I would talk about yeah. is this was one of my tests a long time ago on how I would talk about electronics. Yeah. So back in the day when I was at Make, one of the things I used to say, and this was when Make and Etsy were the same size and we were in like... No, they were in the same building. We are in the same building together. <laughs> and I said, once the makers... Like style. Well, I was like, once the makers are using electronics from the maker world in their Etsy store sales to power things that they're just selling, they're not going to... They're not selling electronics and how to write code. They're selling animatronic things or signs or something that is, you know, it's more considered a, a handcraft that's not yeah. in electronics. Etsy wasn't an electronics marketplace. Although I did try to do make.etsy.com, other side story. But one of the bits of success is if you're making a technology yeah. that allows artists to put electronics into something, that's when you know you did a good job. So Arduino had some of that success. And now, like, as we bring Python to hardware... You're seeing that now. If someone's using your, in this case, Circuit Python, idea of like, oh, just plug it in. It shows up as a drive, and that's where you configure stuff. And you don't even need to know how to code, but it's powerful enough where it could just be used like that. You did a good job. So I thought that was neat, and that would be an article I would write. You know, Py Python is coming to the craft world and coming to the world where you need to power it with electronics, but what is the programming language that you would ever use? How would you do this? Yeah. So anyways, it's cool. Turns out matrix portals. That's how you know. It's that's, cool. how you, that's how you know it worked out. All right. Um, also, got some plotting libs. Thanks, thanks for the contribution. Uh, get CircuitPython, MicroPython plotting. This is an yeah. interesting. Embed did a um, questionnaire, and it's a very embed focused, but it did have some interesting stuff because it divided up... Um, 
you know, academic, hobbyist, and professional, and asked, like, the, it, it shows some of the differences. I thought there was some interesting stuff, uh, even for folks who are not using embed um, within the, um, the, the, in the embed ecosystem, but they're using microcontrollers. Uh, very interesting stuff. So check out the um, developer survey. And they had a lot of responses, too. It's okay. a big community. You can check out some of the new hardware. This is a Pimeroni Tiny uh, 2040 board. We're on CircuitPython. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got, got a lot of RP24. So we're going to see a couple months of this yeah. as, as folks get so many um, Pico Yeah, but boards. this is another thing, too. It's like if you're going to um, have a product like Kibo with a Pico, um, what's the easiest thing to use? And it happens to be CircuitPython. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. All right. So we've More got some projects. mag tech. So if this is needed, L cars for e-ink. Check out our AR app. Um, full color POV display with a Pi Pico and Dot Star LED tape. Um, and then uh, Twitch stream, playing around with new hardware and Circuit Python, a MIDI interface, and uh, a Cytron Maker Pi Pico. It's got everything built into it. It says everything. Okay. And we have some coming soon we're going to be talking about soon on and our show. Guides, some more projects, updates. 302 libraries. And with that is your Python Harbor News this week.